Flying with Twilight Garrison really is not that hard. All it requires is some teaching and some practice. So, let's learn how to get from there to here. All with some sword ammo and an exotic. But we can't be here for that. Let's go find some, uh, some better ground. So as someone who's no, who knows nothing about Destiny, I want to begin to fly with Twilight Garrison. Well, let's start with the basics. Jumping. So you're going to need to fly, of course. Your jump as a Titan won't really run out when you're in the air. It may if you overuse it, but it won't if you're just constantly flying. That's because your, your, uh, your jump will work somewhat like a health bar. Right now my health bar is full. So I'm on the ground. But when these vandals start hitting me, it starts going down, and it does not come back up. So I find some cover. And it goes back up. And your jump works like the same way. When you're in the air, it's like getting hit. And your health ball will go down. But when you stop using your jump and you stop boosting, it will recover. When you hit the ground, it immediately recovers all the way. There's a common misconception that when you jump in the air, once it runs out, that's all the jump you have, you fall down. But it's just not true. The next thing we need to know is using your sword, which is the second thing you need for Twilight Garrison Blood. There are two attacks you can use on the ground, and there are two attacks you can use in the air when using a sword. The first attack on the ground is a light swipe, and your heavy swipe. In the air, it's the same way. Light, heavy. Both can be used back to back. In the air, it makes you go farther and faster. And it can be used on a slight cooldown in the air. Third, you need Twilight Garrison. Obviously, this would be B, to evade. Next, your subclass. You're going to be one using Sunbreaker, Sun Charge. I'll teach you about that later. Increased Height, Codex 3, and 6 for max agility. Although it's not completely necessary, max agility does help. And if you want much higher, put on Fleet Fire. The key to flying with Twilight Garrison is, norm is knowing the formula. And the formula is light heavy garrison, light heavy sword. I mean, jump. Light heavy with your sword, garrison, light heavy, jump. And then you repeat that process. With just this much ammo, you should be able to almost fly to that box. Unbelievable? I know. But I think we can do it. Well, it might be close. Demonstrate. Not quite. Now, what you need to know about using Garrison and your sword on their cooldowns is this. With your sword, in the air, you, the light slash will use up one ammo. The heavy will use up two. In Garrison, there is a three second cooldown on one bump. One bump being what you see when I evade, what I call it. The goal is to be able to use all of your abilities, jumping, sorting, and Garrison, in a constant circle so that they can all be used evenly throughout their cooldowns to propel you forward and farther. 
your flying is only limited by how much sword ammo you have. So the more sword ammo you have, the farther you will go. That's why I recommend using Ray's Lighter or another exotic sword with both scabbard perks on. Because no legendary sword will compare. Even with three scabbard perks on one of these swords will not compare to an exotic. Again? Remember that your jump is like your health bar, and do not be afraid to start using Twilight Garrison and Sword before your jump runs out at the beginning. So you can use it right after you start jumping, like this. This will give you more of a cushion to use. You should only be jumping in the air for about one and a half seconds, no matter how much jump you have left over to use as a cushion, or when you jump to the start. Your direction does not matter when you're in the air. You can go anywhere you want. Doesn't matter when you change it really even. Remember earlier I was talking about how Garrison is on a 3 second cooldown now. Well that does affect Garrison flying still. It was easier before the patch. Because of this, you cannot spam Garrison when you're in the jump. If I were to try to use Garrison before the animation for my sword finished, I would end up hitting a cooldown and I would lose some altitude. Or I might be punished by the Garrison and lose all of my altitude. By punishment, I mean this. If I Garrison and try to do it again, it will tell me that I can't. And it won't let me for another couple seconds. That is Garrison's punishment for trying to use it before. Be able to do anything about him. I'll just fall to the ground and my garrison will not let me do anything. Now, if you run out of your jump in the air, you will begin losing your altitude faster than you may think. So do not use up your jump completely. You can afford to mess up a little bit, but if you start falling towards the ground, don't be surprised if you're unable to recover, because your sword will not be able to save you from the amount of momentum you have pulling you towards the ground. As you can see there, normally my sword would have pushed me forward, but instead it didn't bring me anywhere. Again. As you can see there, I was able to save myself. With Garrison and my sword. To be able to save yourself, if you're falling too fast, you need to be able to wait for your Garrison cooldown to come back. Your Garrison is the only thing that's going to be able to save you because your jump will not come back fast enough. And your sword will not be able to save your momentum. The reason you cannot fly with just sword and jump is because your sword and your jump will not be used fast enough. It's the same reason you can't use just garrison and jump or just garrison and sword as well.
That was jumping garrison. I mean jumping sword. This is jumping garrison. And this is sword and garrison. Another thing about garrison you can do is titanscape. When using increased control, like you normally should be if you're not using this technique, you can escape. This is running normally. This is skating. Now skating with Garrison. See, I go much faster. To be able to skate with Garrison, it's very simple. All you need to do is jump, garrison, and then spam your jump button while pushing forward, but do not sprint. Sprinting will cancel it. Now. I was talking earlier about what to do with Sun Charge on your Sunbreaker. Well, that is used if you don't have enough sword ammo. Say you only have 60 in the King's Jump Fall Jumping Puzzle. And you need that little bit more time, or that little bit more momentum to close the gap. So, let's just waste some of my sword ammo off here. And now, we're going to try to go to that box again. We're going to make some some maneuvers while we're over there. And then, I will use Sunbreaker to finish the gap. Light, heavy, garrison. Light, heavy, jump. As you can see there, I missed my garrison at one point, and I overused my jump. Kind of ruined the demonstration. I will show you anyway how to use Sunbreaker Shoulder, some Sun Charge. So, to use Sunbreaker's Sun Charge effectively, you're going to want a lot of altitude. Because you're going to want to be jumping. You will lose altitude while Sun Charging, that's why it's a last resort. Only used to close gaps you know you can make with Sun Charge. Using Sun Charge requires spam, really. You're going to use your Sun Charge and just hit your button. And in between Sun Charges, you will try to jump as your jump comes back. So you do not want to be used, you have used all your jump when you start Sun Charging. As you can see, I was, wasn't able to go that far, and I lost some altitude in the way there. And I'm sure you want to know how to get to that place in the Dreadnought, huh? Well, I'm sure you figured it out for yourself by now, but let's go check it out anyway. It's the wrong grenade. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. Now. Let's get All you need to do to get on top of the ship is to climb to the top of these uh, broken little rafters. If you could. Because you're not bad at the game like I am. And then, do what I said. Now we're here. There's also one other way to get on top of the uh, the ship, and you can do it with any class. 
But I'm not going to tell you how. I'll let you figure it out for yourself. You can also explore up here on your own. I'm not going to do that for you. I'm not going to hold your hand. I will be doing a follow-up video on this in about a little less than a week. Answering any questions you may have. Clearing up anything you may have missed. Helping you guys out with flying with Father Garrison. I want to get the word out. Get people flying around like no one else ever has. No warlocks or hunters can ever do this. Only the Titan Master Race. They're fantastic swords. Father Garrison. And now, a quick 360, unedited, unedited, no scope, on this acolyte. Completely legit. Here's what say it's Photoshop. Now get in the air. <laughs> 